I already made a video about Polaroid Duochrome Green, and if you didn't see that, that's pretty cringe, I'm not gonna lie. So go watch that, and then come back and watch this video. The biggest issue I had with Duochrome Green was the fact that it was difficult to get the exposure right. It was very easy to overexpose, which is an issue that they straight up admit to on their website, but uh, hey, whatever, what do I know? A bunch of people had questions, especially considering I basically said I didn't like the film in the last video. Since I love my precious little eggies so much, I picked up two more packs of Duochrome Green to answer your burning questions. Questions. But spoiler alert, my opinions haven't really changed. Doesn't the Polaroid Now Plus overexpose anyway? The short answer is no, not every model. Go check out my exposure test video if you're curious. But looking at things from a long-term perspective now, I will say that my Now Plus started making weirder and weirder exposure decisions. I ended up contacting Polaroid about it and they actually sent me a replacement unit. So I definitely recommend going that route if you think your Polaroid Now Plus isn't exposing properly. To rule out any potential weirdness though, I'm using both my Polaroid Now Plus and my classic Sun 600. Since the duochrome green is 600 film, it'll work in the vintage camera and my Sun 600 has never let me down before. Let's shoot. But first, wait a second, what's that? Why is the subscribe button green? That's not right. You gotta hurry up and smash it so that it turns back to red quickly. Hurry, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta do it right now. Other, otherwise it'll never turn back. <laughs> to kick things off, I shot a few fun portraits with my friend Corey. Since people asked for it, I decided to shoot these indoors with the flash turned on. In terms of exposure, these are much more acceptable than the first two packs I shot. They uh, they aren't exactly nuclear, so that's, that's a positive thing. If anything, they're almost a little too dark. I know, I know, there's no pleasing me. <laughs> I'm still seeing undeveloped patches on the frames, which is kind of annoying, and it was present on the other packs of film. I did clean the rollers on both cameras, so at this point I'm just going to conclude that this is another inconsistency with the duochrome green film. Polaroid's website says that undeveloped patches happen when the developer paste doesn't get spread over the whole photo. It can happen if the rollers aren't spreading the paste correctly, if the individual film's pods don't have enough developer paste to cover the photo, or most likely, the developer paste has dried out and isn't spreading as it should. Now there's no way in heck I'm insinuating that Polaroid is selling expired chemistry or something like that, but that is some interesting food for thought, isn't it? I don't know. In all honesty, it's probably just because of how experimental and unstable this formula is though. While we're on the topic of indoors, I also went for a mirror selfie with the Sun 600 without the flash. I thought I had enough natural light, but uh, it's it's very underexposed, but at least now we know it's possible to underexpose this film. <laughs> also, I'm glad that we can clearly see Nigel back there, that was pretty important to me. For the rest of the pack on my Sun 600, I went around locally and took a few cliche film snapshots. The liquor store the basketball hoop, and of course, the pool ladder. Similar to the trend on the first two packs, I shot the highlights are particularly hot. I do like how these shots came out, but I wish we would have had some sky detail. I wish the clouds were a bit more prominent, but hey, at least the sky isn't completely nuclear in this one. But I was content with the overall contrast in these shots. The shadows and the blacks actually look dark, which is a good thing. This shot I took by the post office, on the other hand, did not make me happy. The blown out highlights, the lack of contrast, this was not good. In this shot of the New York City skyline from the Bronx? <laughs> yeah, what skyline, right? <laughs> Overall, the pack in the Sun 600 was kind of a mixed bag. For the remaining shots on the pull right now, plus I tried to use the manual mode as much as possible because people asked for it. This first shot, I just opened the app and I let it meter and uh, behold, I don't even remember where this is or what this is a photo of because of how overexposed it was. Excellent. Turns out, it was this. Wow. Just for the record though, I am using an old Android phone, so I don't know if there is some weird app compatibility thing going on here. I went for a double exposure, and I'm not gonna lie, this one was almost cool. But I pizzaed when I should've french fried and completely cut off my own head, which frankly at this point, decapitation doesn't sound too bad to me. Hey, on the bright side, at least you can see my cool free throw shirt. For these last two building shots, I used the app and I underexposed by one and two stops respectively. I'm pretty happy with the contrast on these, but the splotchy chemistry spots are not my favorite. Duochrome green is a weird one for me. I'm still not sold on the look, though I will say I'm happier with the results from these two packs. My advice, shoot on cloudier days or in the shade if you're outdoors. It's almost the exact opposite of normal Polaroid logic. Direct sunlight is going to make things difficult for you to expose your shots without blowing out the sky. Indoors with the flash also seems like a pretty viable option. But the splotchiness of the chemistry is so ugly to me. I'm really not a fan of that and it seemed to be pretty consistent throughout 
all the photos, especially in the more overexposed outdoor shots. And the undeveloped patches is pretty irritating, especially considering it happened frequently on both of the cameras. 9 out of the 16 shots had undeveloped patches. That's more than half of them. Duochrome green just isn't for me. If you enjoy the film, that is awesome. Make sure you share your shots with me either on my Discord or my Instagram. The links are below. I hope this video helped answer some of your questions, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Sweet, Sweet new photography. photography. Dumb, Dumb man. man.